And what is the essence, Mitch, of this trip, of this moving experience? What, what essence did capture you think you can find anything? Pride. You know, this very, very strong passion and pride of, of how this, the people in this world, or now in my world, you know, feel about where they come from. I just find it so fascinating, even still. Even watching my own movie, I'm like, oh my god, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Look at what they do to celebrate. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to put into words. Um, uh, and, and just uh, the, the, uh, the feeling of being together as a community, you know, and, 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 and really enjoying being in each other's company um, is something that I think uh, we don't do as well here, in general. You know, we get together a lot, but there's something just unabashed exuberance that I experience at these fiestas in this world that uh, I find very, um, very satisfying and very interesting. So, exuberance and pride is. And you married to a part of it, so it really. And I married into it. Into part. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> Is there some relationship between, you talk about Poland and stories in Poland, your um, persona as a um, Polish Jew and, and going to a Latin country, different tropes, some connection between the two? For me, very much so, because it's like, you know, when I first went to Yamagin and I'd be invited into somebody's home and we'd have a coffee or eat something, you know, the language was different faces look different, but otherwise the feeling was just the same as like when I used to go have dinner at my grandparents' house. It's that same feeling of, you know, uh, what's the word, cariño, you know, that, that same love, that same warmth, you know, that same kind of family, you're part of something. It's, it's the same feeling, you know. Uh, it's, it's very, very interesting to me. So that's, and, and the fact that, you know, I, my, my grandmother, beat it into my head. Well, she didn't beat it into my head. I mean, I, I think I, I was raised really open to it. But that, that she always talked about um, being interested in where other people were from, but never forget where you're from. You know, So she really taught me about don't forget where you're from and have respect and pride in your roots. You know, you, That's who you are. Uh, so I think all those years later, I kind of see that you know, in my friends, in this movie subjects family in Peru, and it just carries over. Sir? Yes, I was wondering if you could describe a, a dance class, a Peruvian dance class, briefly. What, what I think I'm maybe trying to associate it with maybe an American dance class, you know, where you do some warm ups and then you do some exercises and a few steps. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's probably not quite like that. So if you could speak about it. Well, putting the, the, folklore, the folklore dance in a classroom um, it's difficult, but it's being done in Peru, and it has that structure, the warm up, you know, it does. And that's why I was like, okay, this is cool, but something's missing. And then it was challenging when I went to the actual town, so the dance is not a dance class itself. It's just, you just go, you know? And um, there specific standard steps that are... Well, when it's, once, it, once you're in a classroom over there, and there's specific steps, but the methodology is different. For example, like I, I teach here, um, I teach Peruvian dance, but then I have to kind of change the way I learned a little bit because I'm not gonna do what, I'm not gonna break out a stick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to like tone it, I have to do something else because I, I didn't know she wanted me to put my foot over there. She could have just been like to the left, to the diagonal, and that would have been it, but no, she slapped my, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I was like, and it wasn't until after that that I was like, oh, okay. So then I have to take that and bring it back and be like, okay, now guys, you know. <laughs> um, but there, there's a lot of like, just do it type of thing. And I, actually, it's kind of refreshing in a way, minus the stick. There's other ways um, that's being done where you just walk into the classroom um, and you just see people doing it and they're like, oh. And you're just like, oh, the, the next thing you know, you just don't have a choice. You want to be a part of this or not? And you just do it. If you mess up, you look ridiculous, whatever, but then after a while, you kind of feel it, you know? And then that's what creates that personal touch that you have, you know? But here it's very more structured. Yes? Uh, uh, are 
the musicians present always at the class that you, that you took, or? Because I saw a lot of musicians. The classroom is inside of like the classroom. Well, in any of the situations you were in, uh, I heard some recordings, you know, but I, I saw some <coughs> about musicians were around. Well, is that a common thing? Yes, it's common to have live music. Any Peruvians here? Who 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 is from Peru? Here. More interesting. It's not. It's less than half the the, the, the people. This is, that we can go beyond uh, just the community. And, and you, I mean, the people from Peru, any, anybody from one of the regions uh, depicted in the movie? Uh, I was, uh, my, my family is from California, the capital. Uh, born in Los Angeles, and my dad is family. an earthquake, a uh, serious earthquake yeah, that raised to the heart. And, and you, you, the lady, you, yes. Okay. You're also, yes, also from that part. Oh, yes, so my mom is from Puno, so even though I don't, I am not a good dancer, I usually like to see how they dance and We, we premiered the film in Peru. We did this six city tour. Um, this is said before, sponsored by the US Embassy. Uh, we showed it in one And, uh, like future, and you know, so yeah. uh, we will show it again. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. There's a conference in Lima in March uh, that I would like to show the movie to. But I'm, uh, I'd like to set up some mechanism for distributing the yeah. film, uh, especially to schools. And you know, cultural centers, and, and, and there's no financial yeah. market for us. I mean, there's a black market there. I don't, I didn't make the film to sell it from there. I <laughs> just like to give the film, it, and we got a lot of requests from educators everywhere we showed it. Uh, so we have to figure out the best way to do that. Um, but yes, I'll, I always want to go back and show the movie. Um, probably born and raised here in New York City, but, it, you know, but I'm very, you know, like seeing a film with this For being here with us. Thank you for being here and hope you follow through and the next Saturday. Thank you and we want to give the program for this. Thank you for coming. Let me just mention something. I'm sorry. Um, we're making a DVD now and we're going to have it available for sale, I hope, within two months. So uh, that's why we want everybody's email address because we want to sell it to you. <laughs> and also we're going to do more screenings and we want to, you know, it's a lot of word of mouth. So on our mailing list, which is, we don't overwhelm you, but we send you nice, short, snappy updates uh, when we have new movies, uh, screenings, or when we'll have the DVD. So if you're not already on our list, you know, please do that so and uh, stay in touch. Days. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to pass the list we're taking. Yeah, we're going to pass it around. Yes. Remember to, to leave your signing forms uh, when you leave this call. Thank you very much. Thank you.